everybody, I'm Diane. Um, welcome to Bodyweight Bootcamp, except today we are going to do something a little bit different. So if you're watching this on video, um, take a second to pause and go find some dumbbells if you have them, um, or you can use laundry detergent, you could use um, large heavy cans, you could also probably get creative and use some bands for a lot of these things. Um, I'm going to be using some 10 pound dumbbells for the entire workout. So if all you have is one set, uh, that should probably be fine. I would say anywhere from like a seven to a 15, depending on your ability level. So pause now, get your weights. Um, we are going to uh, continue with an AMRAP style workout today. So that's as many reps as possible or as many rounds as possible, which means I will set the clock for four minutes for each circuit. And I'm going to give you two exercises. So in this particular workout, it's going to be um, one upper body and one lower body move. Um, and you're going to do them for as many reps as I give you. And then when you get to the end of your exercises and reps, you're going to just go back to the beginning and do it again as many times as you can in four minutes. And you're going at your own pace. Okay. Um, we'll start with a warm up. So just a normal warm up, warm up, and then we'll get to the workout. So set your weights aside. All right, so we'll start here. Um, feet are about shoulder width apart. And you're just gonna come down here and wiggle around a little bit. And lift your butt up in the air. And we're gonna just kind of stretch out the hamstrings. Your back is pretty flat. So if that means that you can't fully extend your knees and that your knees are a little bit bent, that's okay. I also encourage you to put some music on in the background for this workout. <laughs> That'll make it a lot more fun. All right, so one more here. Good. And you're gonna come up again, feet are about shoulder width apart. We're gonna do some body weight squats here. So just get nice and low, sit back like you're sitting in a chair and use those arms, squeeze the glutes on the way up. So for today's workout, um, there won't actually be very much jumping. So kind of low impact, hopefully still get your heart rate up. Just a different type of workout than we usually do. Good, let's do one more and then bring it up for some jumping jacks. Good, we just wanna get the heart rate up. And we're gonna to move to a little bit of a jog in three, two, one. Good, let's start to bring the knees up a little bit. Use the arms. Get them up. Good, we're gonna go back to our jumping jacks in three, two, one. All right, back to our body weight squats in three, two, and one. Feet about shoulder width apart, get nice and low. Let's do three more. Three, two, and one. So, Bring it back down to the frog stretch where we started and lift your butt up in the air. Three more, three, 
two and one. So also let's just take a quick second, do a couple arm circles and then take it back the other direction. Good, let's kind of reach behind the back, open up the shoulders and chest and you can lean over a little bit if that feels good. And then reach out front, arch your back a little bit, reach. Okay, good. So again, we're gonna do some weights here. I'm gonna give you two exercises and four minutes on the clock. And I will always walk you through the exercises before we start. Okay, so first set is going to be squats and military press, okay? So you're going to, if you have little um, dumbbells, you're gonna place them on your shoulders or you can hold them up here near your chest if you're holding something else. If you have like one laundry detergent or only one dumbbell or one kettlebell, you can hold it here in the center and do your squats. So that's gonna look like this. It's just a regular squat. And I'll show you from the side and you're gonna sit back, make sure that you're getting nice and low. And then the second part is going to be military press. So you're going to start with your arms up here about 90 degrees and press. Oh, you can hear my dumbbells. Try not to smack them together at the top. So you don't wanna bring your arms all the way down Okay, you wanna try and keep them right about here, horizontal. That's it, okay? So again, the way to make this more challenging is to go faster or add more weight. Um, but here you probably don't have a lot of options, so you can either just go, you can just go faster, sorry. So 12 squats and 12 military presses, and I'm gonna put four minutes on the clock. So going at your own pace, if you need to take a break, then, you just do that. Sorry. All right. So four minutes in three, two, one. Let's go. Start with the squats. 12 of these. You're going at your own pace. Get low. Show you from the side. So don't follow my count because sometimes I lose track because I'm talking to you as well. Remember on the military press, keep those elbows high. Nice job. Good, and then when you finish those, you're gonna go back and start over. Okay, and you wanna fit in as many as you can. So you're kind of keeping your chest and shoulders up. You don't wanna lean over and face the ground too much. Good, and you're keeping those knees either above the toes or just behind them. Again, I have kind of no idea if that's 12 when I'm talking to you. Good, reach for the sky. And you wanna keep the core tight here. So make sure that your ribs aren't flaring and you're not arching your back, okay? So from the side, you wanna keep your back straight. You wanna make sure that you're not arching and sticking out your back. All right, let me give you a mile marker, keep going. Okay, you have a little less than two minutes here. So you're more than halfway. Squeeze the glutes at the top.
Remember, pick up the pace if you need to. Good, so tight core. Keep that rib cage from flaring. Nice work. Keep it moving. Remember, you can do this with one weight. You can also do your presses with one weight. We're almost there. We probably have less than 30 seconds now. So push through, squeeze in a couple reps. Come on, you got this. And time. All right, nice job, guys. Okay, so one round down. We four to go. So again, this can also be done with one weight if you only have one. But we're going to start with deadlifts. So from the front, your feet are about shoulder width apart. Your shoulders are back. Weights are kind of together. Or if you have one, you're holding both ends. And you're going to keep the weights close to your shins, lean over, and come on up and squeeze the glutes. So from the side, it's actually more important. So I don't know if you can see me here. Um, you're going to keep those shoulders back. Don't round your back, keep your back nice and flat and keep the weights close to your shins. See how my back is nice and flat and come back up. So if you can only get to here without rounding your back, that's fine, just go to there. Um, you also will feel a pull in your hamstrings and that's kind of, the end of your range of motion. That's when you're gonna to start to round your back. So back stays flat, shoulders are back. Um, second part is bicep curls. So I'm gonna do hammer curls where your weights are coming like up, the dumbbells are up and down, or if you want to, you can do them where the dumbbells are sideways. Now again, if you have one weight, you can do this deadlift with one weight, and you can also do your bicep curls with one weight or a kettlebell, doesn't matter. So we're gonna do 12 deadlifts, 12 bicep curls, and you're gonna just go at your own pace in three, two, one, let's go. So we've got four minutes on the clock. You can keep an eye, keep an eye on my deadlift form if, you, if that's helpful if you're new to these. So weights are close to the shin, squeeze the glutes on the way up. The back is pretty flat. Good, so you should feel this in your hamstrings for sure. And you'll probably feel it tomorrow in your hamstrings. <laughs> Good, come on up and 12 bicep curls. So again, you wanna keep the core tight, make sure your rib cage isn't flaring. And if you're looking from the side, See how my elbows are kind of stuck to the side of my body. So you wanna make sure that you're not swinging. We're not swinging, okay? Keep the elbows nice and tight. It's a slow and controlled movement. I obviously completely lost track of my count. That's okay. Good, keep those shoulders back. Chest is wide. Nice job. I 
And remember, if you need something more intense, pick up the pace. That's up to you. Elbows are tight at your sides. Twelve bicep of curls is a lot. Good, keep moving. Let me just check the time. All right, you've got less than two minutes, so you're definitely over halfway. Keep those weights close to the shins. Kind of like track the shins. Good, just keep it moving. Stay in motion. Slow down if you need a break rather than stopping. Nice. You're almost there. Let's just keep moving and we won't worry about the clock. It'll stop one way or another. <laughs> Squeeze those glutes. All right, time's running down. Stick with it. Good, last couple reps, let's go. And that's time. Awesome. Okay. So again, two more moves. One lower body, one upper body. So we've got reverse lunges and bent over rows. So with reverse lunges, you're gonna do six on either side. So 12 total, 12 is a magic number today. And then 12 bent over rows. So on your reverse lunges, you can either hold the weights down at your sides or you can hold them up at your shoulders, totally up to you. You can also, again, do this with one weight, holding it in the center. So you're gonna just step back six on either side. Okay. And then with bent over rows, you are, uh, feet are kind of close together about shoulder width apart. doesn't really matter so much, but you're going to bend over. You're going to keep your back pretty flat, keep the shoulders back and we're going to row. So we're pulling those elbows up just above the line of the back and kind of squeezing the shoulder blades together. Right. So 12 of those. And we'll start with our reverse lunges in three, two, one. Let's go. Four minutes on the clock at your own pace. So we're doing 12 total reverse lunges, six on either side. And the magic is happening in the glute that's pulling you up. Okay. So right now it's this one. So you're not pushing off your back leg. You're doing six on either side, but I may have lost count. Okay, so bent over rows. You're gonna bend over, keep the back nice and straight. Pulling the weights up towards your armpits. Squeezing those shoulder blades. Good. So on these, you can also do um, six on one side and six on the other. You don't have to alternate. I find that alternating makes it a little bit more cardio, if that's your goal. Good. 
Good, now you could also do these rows with one. So you're holding it at either end and rowing up. There's always a way. You got this. Let me check the time, keep moving. All right, you got about two minutes. Stick with it. You wouldn't think that a workout with 10 pound dumbbells would be difficult, but if you do enough and do it fast enough, it can be a challenge. Lifting those elbows up, squeeze the shoulder blades. Good. Let's check on time. You keep moving. All right, you've got about a minute. Take a big step back. Shoulders are back. Chest is open. All right, keep it moving. Almost there. All right, come on, 15 seconds. Last couple reps. All the way to the end. Nice. All right. Nice work. All right. So we have two more sets. That'll take us right about to the end. So grab a quick drink if you need to. So two moves. One I call skiers and um, the other one is just push-ups, so no weights. So skiers, um, they're kind of a variation of swings. So I'll show you from the side and from the front. So you kind of need two weights for these. If you don't have two weights, you can also do them without. You're going to, I'll show you from the front first. You're gonna stand, feet are kind of close together and you're gonna just swing those weights forward and sit back. Okay, so exploding up, squeezing the glutes. And you're kind of using those weights as like a little bit of momentum. So from the side, it's gonna look like this sitting back and exploding up, all right? So don't overthink it. You're not really pushing the weights. You're kind of using them more as a little bit of momentum. So those are gonna be the skiers. You're gonna do 12 of those and then 12 push-ups. I'm not gonna walk you through push-ups, but if you can't do regular push-ups, there's no shame in that game and you can also do them on your knees, okay? You'll see me converting to knee push-ups, don't worry. So the skier is definitely gonna be a little bit of cardio. So get ready. We're gonna start our four minutes, 12 skiers, 12 push-ups. In three, two, one. Start with the skiers. Again, you're gonna go back and explode up. So use those weights to balance you as you kind of sit back in a chair. Squeeze the glutes, that's, that's where all the action is happening. Good, 12 of those, set your weights down safely, and then 12 push-ups. So start with the harder version if you can, and then we'll move to knee push-ups if we need to. 
Keep your butt out of the air. Same thing, when you go down to your knees, keep your hips down. Good. So what I mean by that is, I don't wanna see you doing this with your butt up in the air, okay? That's not a push up. Get those hips forward, get the chest and hips as close to the ground as you can. Back to the skiers, I'll show you from the front. Sitting back. Hopefully you see why it's called a skier. And hopefully you feel that in your glutes. Get as close to the round as you can. Now, if you feel like your form is failing, you can also do less reps. That's okay. I would rather you do six good ones than 12 bad ones. All right, so we have about 90 seconds here. Keep it moving. We're almost there. Whew, 12 is a lot. All right, you got about 30 seconds. Do these from the front this time. Squeeze. Keep running through. Last couple reps. Let's go. Three, two, and one. Nice work. Okay, we have one set left. Hopefully you're hanging in there. Um, so we have side lunges and Arnold press. Don't worry, I'll show you both. So again, if you have one weight, you can hold the weight up at your chest. Arnold presses will be harder to do, but I'll give you a alternative. So if you have two weights, you can either put them up on your shoulders or you can hold them kind of down in front of you. So you're gonna start in the middle of your mat. You're gonna move to one side. Okay, so you can put those weights down like that or you can put them on your shoulders. I find that putting them on my shoulders helps me to stay a little bit more upright and chest open if that's something that you have problems with. So if you're letting the weights hang, it's a little bit easier to round the shoulders and the rest of the back. Um, so that's your side lunges. We're gonna do six on either side, so 12 total, that's the magic number. And then Arnold presses, okay? So you have your weights, your weights are, your hands are facing you. So right now my palms are facing me, elbows are up. You're going to come around so that your palms are facing forward and up. All right, around and up. Now, if you only have one, you can just convert back to those 
regular presses. All right, there's really no alternative unless you wanna do a single. So elbows up and you can do one at a time. Hands out at the side, whatever you need to do for balance. That might actually be a little bit more difficult because um, you're kind of lopsided. All right, so we're gonna do those side lunges, six on either side, 12 Arnold presses. So if you're gonna alternate, you can either do 12 on each side or six on each side. It doesn't really matter. Just keep moving through for the four minutes. All right, so three, two, one. Four minutes on the clock. So again, however you wanna hold your weights on these lunges, you don't have to do it the same way each time. So you're sitting back and go as far as your knee feels comfortable, all right? The goal is not to go super low. It's to sit back, engage that glute and push off. You may have lost track of how many I did. All right, if you're going for the Arnold press, palms are facing you, round and up. 12 of these is gonna be something. Keeping those elbows up when they're in front of you. So you don't want to let them sag. Keep them up. Keep the core tight so that your rib cage isn't flaring. So from the side, looks like this. Keep it tight. Good. Back to your side lunges, whatever those look like. <clears throat> Sit back, stay off that knee. Don't follow my count. All right, back for the Arnold presses. Whew. If these get intense and you feel like you can't keep your form, just do less, less reps. So I can feel my form starting to fail. And what happens when your form starts to fail from the side, it looks like this. All right, you're gonna start arching your back, forcing your rib cage out. That was a little bit exaggerated, but you know what I mean? And if that's the case, then you just cut your reps there and move on for now and come back to it. Sit back. So all the weights in your outside leg there. So again, I'm gonna cut reps here. Good. Keep moving. Okay, we've got less than 30 seconds, so we can do this. So pushing off that outside leg, the one that's bent, that's where all your weight should be. The other one is just for like balance. I lost track on my count, but that's time. All right, that's your last set guys. So we'll do a little bit of a cool down here if you wanna stick around. Nice work. Hopefully that felt like a whole body workout for you. I know we didn't target abs, but hopefully if you were um, 
bracing yourself correctly, you should feel a little bit of work in your abs on the squats and definitely on the skiers. So if you wanna try those again and think about your core, you should feel it. So let's bring it down to um, hands and knees. So hands are directly under your shoulders and we're gonna arch our back, look up and arch, look the other direction. So push yourself away from the floor. Other way. Push. Let's do two more each direction at your own pace. Good. So you're going to walk it up to a plank. Let's lower ourselves down. Hands are directly under your shoulders and you're gonna push up, look up. Good, so lift those hip flexors just up off the floor, squeeze the glutes. Good, we're gonna send the hips back, curl the toes under for a downward facing dog. So whatever form of this feels good for you, you can pedal your feet a little bit. Kind of open your shoulders if that feels good. Good, and we're gonna walk it forward again to that high plank, lower it down. So same thing, we're gonna press, look up, lift those hip flexors off the ground. And if you squeeze the glutes, it stops the hip flexors from working. So that should be able, that should help you stretch them out. Good, we're gonna curl the toes under and send the hips back over our heels. You can curl the toes under or not, doesn't matter. Little child's pose, so open up your knees if you need space for your ribs, and then walk your fingertips out as far as you can. Open the shoulders. Oh, we should have got some triceps in there today. Shoot. Maybe another time. All right, walk it up. Right hand up. Give yourself a little pat on the back. And um, hopefully you have a good holiday. And we'll see you back here in the new year. We'll probably start to integrate weights a little bit more often. So if you like this, um, come back in January. Thank you.